Just like today, tennis was one of the most popular sports in the world before and during the 1900s. Tennis is played by people all over the world as a great form of exercise or recreation. It is a form of sport that has transcended age groups enjoyed by not only young children, but as well as senior citizens. Up until the 1960s, people played with wooden rackets, typically made from ash or maple. Woods are not isotropic, meaning they do not have the same physical properties in all directions. This proved problematic since a racket needs strength in both the vertical and horizontal axis. Also, the racket's head would normally be smaller. Because it would have larger frames, it would not be able to be stiff or strong enough to support the required tensions in the strings without breaking. To overcome this problem, laminated or coated structures were introduced, adding strength and stiffness. However, racket producers had no other alternative than to add mass in response to a desire for greater stiffness. Thus, a typical wooden racket weighed about half a kilogram. Such stiff and consequently heavy rackets proved unmanageable for many. Additionally, classic wooden rackets had a life expectancy of about 3 months of regular use. Due to these characteristics, wood was a far cry from an ideal racket material. Later on, advanced and beginner players needed a stiffer frame material comparing to wood or steel. It needed to be of high strength but low weight in order to make playing tennis more efficient. It also needed to have high stability as it is important for off-center shots. But what is this cutting edge material that has all these requirements? This is where carbon fiber takes place. Light in weight, strong and durable. Carbon fibers are nothing but a 21st century high technology material. Carbon fiber is one of the most recent developments in the field of composite materials. The development of composites has come about following the realization by binding synthetic fibers together with various resins. Very light, strong and durable materials could be made. Carbon fiber is exactly what it sounds like, fiber made of carbon. But these fibers are only a base. What is commonly referred to as carbon fiber is a material consisting of very thin filaments of carbon atoms, even thinner than human hair, that have a diameter of about 0.005 to 0.010 millimeters. Or in other words, it is a fibrous carbon material having a micrographite crystal structure. The process of creating carbon fiber is part chemical and part mechanical. It starts with a precursor polymer material called PEM otherwise known as polyacrylonitrile, a synthetic, semi-crystalline organic polymer resin, which is heated until it becomes carbonized. There are five essential stages in the production of PEN using precious acrylonitrile monomers, spinning, stabilizing, carbonizing, treating the surface, and sizing. Summarizing all the stages together, it is first spun into extremely fine fibers, which are washed and stretched to obtain the desired fiber diameter. The stretching helps align the molecules within the fiber and provide the basis for the formation of the tightly bonded carbon crystals after carbonization. Before the fibers are carbonized, they need to be chemically altered to convert their linear atomic bonding to a more thermally stable ladder bonding. This is accomplished by heating the fibers in air 200 to 300 degrees Celsius for 30 to 120 minutes. This causes the fibers to pick up oxygen molecules from the air and rearrange their atomic bonding pattern. After they are stabilized, the fibers are heated to 1000 to 3000 degrees Celsius for several minutes in a furnace filled with gas mixture that does not contain oxygen. The lack of oxygen prevents the fibers from burning in the very high temperatures. As the fibers are heated, they begin to lose their non-carbon atoms plus a few carbon atoms in the form of various gases including water vapor, ammonia, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, nitrogen, and others. As the non-carbon atoms are expelled, the remaining carbon atoms form tightly bonded carbon crystals that are aligned more or less parallel to the long axis of the fiber. This is what gives the fibers their great strength. After carbonizing, the fibers have a surface that does not bond well with epoxies and other materials used in composite materials. To give the fibers better bonding properties, their surface is slightly oxidized. The addition of oxygen atoms to the surface provides better chemical bonding properties and also etches and roughens the surface for better mechanical bonding properties. After the surface treatment, coating materials are chosen to be compatible with the adhesive used to form composite materials. Typical coating materials include epoxy, polyester, nylon, eutherane, and others. Just notice that carbon fiber is extremely strong due to the interlocking and circular shape of their chemical formula. Carbon fiber is a pan-based fiber which is commonly prepared using the Sohio process. It first starts off with a long chain of polymer. Once this polymer has been produced, the manufacture of carbon can proceed. After the polymer has been stretched in the pan process, it is oxidized, which adds oxygen to the molecule and forms the basis of the hexagonal structure. Next, heating the polymer in a nitrogen-rich environment expels impurities in the chain until the polymer contains 92-100% to of carbon. 
In the end, carbon fiber is made possible because of the covalent bond between oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon, creating a giant covalent molecular structure. The reason why carbon fiber is a cutting-edge material is because, as mentioned before, it is a giant covalent molecular structure. That means all the valency bonding electrons are tightly held and shared by the two atoms of any bond. So in this structure, they are rarely too free to move through the lattice and not even when molten either, since these giant molecular covalent structures do not contain ions. Also, because of the strength of the bonding in all directions of the structure, they are often very hard, strong, and will not dissolve in solvents like water, causing it to have high strength to weight ratio. Adding on, these are some of the chemical and physical properties of carbon fiber which add reasons to why it is a cutting edge material. Carbon fiber reinforced composites have several highly desirable traits that can be exploited in the design of advanced materials and systems. The two most common uses for carbon fiber are in applications where high strength to weight and high stiffness to weight are desirable. These include aerospace, military structures, robotics, wind turbines, manufacturing fixtures, sports equipment, and many others. High toughness can be accomplished when combined with other materials. Certain applications also exploit carbon fiber's electrical conductivity as well as high thermal conductivity in the case of specialized carbon fiber. Finally, in addition to the basic mechanical properties, carbon fiber creates a unique and beautiful surface finish. Adding on, the use of these materials in racket manufacture allow the tennis rackets to be strung at higher stringing tensions without weakening the frame. High string tensions are used by tennis players to gain more control and feel from the tennis rackets. However, carbon fiber composites are also significantly more expensive than the traditional materials. Also, working with carbon fiber requires a high skill level of many intricate processes to produce high quality building materials, for example, solid carbon sheets, sandwich laminates, tubes, and many more. Although in an economical factor, this may be quite pricey as the basic equipment needed to produce the carbon fiber starts at $25 million, it is quite relative because there are not many materials that have all the outstanding qualities carbon fiber acquires. Today, in modern tennis rackets, carbon fiber acts as the reinforcement material while epoxy resin acts like the matrix material. With carbon fiber's lightweight and high tensile strength, cross-linked with epoxy resin's excellent low contraction and adhesive strength, it is able to create a one-of-a-kind racket, which adds up to all the requirements that were not present before the 1960s. Truly, without carbon fiber, tennis would not be the way it is today.